Is Craig here? I, I hope so. Bueller. Operation Pigmentation. Bueller. I'm going to need yo, a yo, day yo. off. Can I just do a Jay-Z real quick since you said Bueller? Bueller. I'm going to need a day off. I think I'll call Ferris up. Bueller had a Mueller, then I switched it for a Millie because I'm rich or something like that. Okay. Oh, look at Seth Money. Seth Money. All right. You guys stop. That was from that uh, Jay-Z uh, Kanye album, Watch the Throne. Before Ooh, that was a good album. album. Yeah, that before they all album. started hating each other. Um, okay, so Operation Pigmentation's here. Craig and Rio. Latarian's back. Latarian brought his friend Jared. We're going to talk to those guys in a second. I want to get into Craig and Rio. His just name be- isn't JD? I heard Jared. Yeah. Was I wrong? His name is JD. J-Day. J-Day. <laughs> Okay. His name JD. What what are you guys? Is this did I give out a government name or something? I don't even know why he gave you that name. Are you guys fucking with did I not did I hear it wrong? I didn't give him that name. You didn't give me that name? Who what the f- wait. Latarian, did you say Jared? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. He gave him up. He gave him up. <laughs> okay, I just want to know. I just want to know what I was hearing. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure I'm not that high. Uh Rio, how was the Bucks game last night, man? It was awesome. I had a fucking blast. Did you end up going with uh, two bitches or just one? No bitches. Co- look, co- I'm, so- ah, I'm sorry. Ahead. Were they hoes? I mean, come no on. Hoes. Let's talk like buddies here. No. I mean, come on. Oh, they were fine women? There wasn't any women. What? What? You said you were going with a girl that you were seeing and you might be taking Juju. And I heard a woman in the background yelling about fries when you called me about parking at Bubba's studio last night. Mm. <laughs> Wow, Seth. Is it? Am I? Have I? Am I blowing up your Seth. spot, Rio? Like I thought we were done to talk about these things. Yeah, we're have, talking. We're talk. <laughs> oh, we're talking. talking. I mean, fuck. You wow. about to make Rio go viral? Oh man, I can't. No. I can't. Okay, get, well, let, let well, me break it, it down. For you, no, right? Juju them didn't come. She didn't come. Okay, but I did have um, a date. Yeah. Okay. And how the fuck? What? Now you had your seats were up on the three hundred level. You said you won't no, go up I there. No, going up there. Where were you hanging we out? Just hung out um, by the bars. Okay. In the end zone down there. Was she impressed? Yeah. Did you? She had a good time. Did you buy her a Vita Vea jersey? No. She's not a Bucks fan. But she is a football fan. Right. Who does she like? Uh, San Francisco 49ers, actually. Okay, I like that we're getting real soft and we're talking about who uh, who she liked. All right, Rio, I didn't, mean, <laughs> I didn't mean to blow up your spot. I just thought, you know, I just thought when you were telling me about her, showing me pictures in the barbershop yesterday, I just thought that that was cool to talk about. Oh, man. I thought that was cool, man. I'm sorry. We should be really focusing on the fact that this is Craig's two-year anniversary of his stroke. I guess that that's what we should be talking about. That is. Not Rio's fine women or non-women that he's uh, he's at the Bucks game with. Craig, so is this really is wow. this the, is this the two year? Yes, it's been two years, Seth. That's two crazy. years. You know, I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't know about this. That you didn't know about the the the, the stroke anniversary? Oh wow! I didn't know about the stroke at all, and uh, this is my second dad. Damn, JD, I'm 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 blaming that on your fucking brother. Damn, I ju- I told yeah. him. No, you, no, you couldn't have. You couldn't have. He would have remembered. That. I would have remembered. That. And he would probably be fucking with me about my health and eating shit if he knows. You know how he is. He couldn't have known. I'm putting. I'm getting his diet right. And right now. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. The point of this being is that I haven't had another one. That's good. What yeah. caused the first one? Uh, stress, diabetes, and drugs. What and what and Craig? So I didn't know. See, I didn't know that there was. I didn't know there was a stroke either. But this is. I found out yesterday, and then I didn't, you didn't know, know either. I didn't know, Craig. Wow, Seth, where you been? At? How you, Jake? Jake, our secret name guest over here didn't know. Okay? <laughs> secret name guest. Yeah, I mean shit. So That's your new name. <laughs> how, how to hide hey. a str- how to hide a stroke, man? You should. That should be the new Netflix series. I'm telling you, how to hide a stroke. I even told the lady at the hospital I did not have a stroke. So, so what happened? How did you end up getting? How did you find out? End up ha- finding out that you're having a stroke? Okay, I'm I'm actually at work. I'm cutting hair, and I felt like my sugar was low. So I grabbed a lollipop and I was cutting the ball head. I know I was cutting the ball head and I ate the lollipop and then I was like, okay, I'm good. So I finished the ball head. But then you I, went to lick the bald head? No. <laughs> okay, sorry. I thought it was a lollipop. I started. I decided. I decided to, uh, that I was going to go home and lay down, right? 
So when I get ready to walk away from the chair, I walked away, but my left leg didn't. Oh. Yeah. And then I got in the car and I'm like, damn, I feel kind of funny, but I'm, you know, I'm using my leg. It's just delayed. And then I got home and I went to sleep. Several people called me. I don't remember any of that. Mm. Yeah, I feel somebody called and then a Lockhart <laughs> called. Lockhart said I was talking in tongues. Who is that? Who's Lockhart? Uh, one of my customers. He gets a haircut every five days. Okay, and he said you were talking in tongues. Yeah, because he said I was out of my mind, so he called my brother. My brother called my wife. When my wife got home, I'm telling her, man, ain't nothing wrong with me. I just need to eat. <laughs> and, and and are you having, since your leg stopped working at the bar shop, were you, were you having a stroke this whole time? Uh, apparently, I already had it. Oh, you already had it. Okay. Yep. Holy hell, man. So what, you went to the hospital? No, it gets better. I'm telling her, just let me eat something and I'm going to be good. So she fixed me something to eat. And then I guess she knew that I was going to be like, just give it a little while. And then, you know, I got to eat after I look up and the ambulance was there. Oh, man. She called 911. She played like she, I'm talking about she was so calm about it, too. (laughs) She saved your life. She did. So when the, the ambulance gets there. And they run my vitals, and he says he's stable enough for you to take him so you don't have to get here with these $700 ride. Oh, man. Yeah. Were you kind of looking forward to going in there, or you knew how much it was going to cost you? Because you were, I yeah, mean. Yeah, by then, I'm you, like. You're alert. That. Yeah, I'm alert, but I'm still, I don't really have full control of my left leg. Okay. And my left arm is like. I'm just holding it to my side. I really don't want nobody to see. What did you have to? Uh, what did you? I have didn't. Well, let me give you this part. I just didn't give it all feel to me, anything. Kurt. I didn't feel anything. Give it to me all. I didn't feel anything at all. Got to the hospital. They did that little thing, and that lady said, "You had a small mini stroke." And I'm like, "You sure about that?" I was like, "You sure you just not? You know, maybe that's what it looks like." And she said, well, let me take you up to the floor you're going to be on. And when she opened the elevator doors, it says stroke unit. (laughs) (laughs) So then I began to believe that I've had the stroke. Yeah. So then they get me in the room and now they're running all these tests like on your body. So every time one of the doctors comes in there, I'm learning more and more of how much I have lost from the stroke. Mm. I can't touch my nose with my left arm. I can't hold my left arm steady. I can't lift my left leg without straining. So that's what I found all this shit out yesterday when I was when I was yeah. in, in the chair. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't know, man, that you couldn't touch it. So you had to re did you had to like rehabilitate Rehab. yourself? Yeah, I had to rehabilitate. Yeah. How did you? What did you have to do to learn how to like use your arms and legs normal uh, again? Uh, what they call that? And uh, did you think you therapy? Learned, did you think <laughs> what physical therapy? Yes, yeah, I'm gonna be honest yeah, with you. He had to do a little therapy. jerking off. Yeah, <laughs> you know, get back into your regular schedule. That's all. Get those muscles back. Right. Yeah, right. muscle memory. Was there issues jerking off, Craig? Uh, <laughs> only when I went out with Lefty. Okay. I was gonna say, are you right? Only here? when I went out with Leftina. All right. <laughs> yeah, when Lefty and Leftina went out, it was an ED night. Okay, I got it you. <laughs> <laughs> did you think? Were you worried that you wouldn't be able to cut hair again? Very. Very. Lance walked in the room. Uh, this is like after the first day. I'm just the second day that I'm in the hospital. Lance walks in the room. Physical therapist is there. He walks in and he sees that I can't touch my nose and he's welling up in his eyes. And I'm like, bro, you got to get out of here, man. Cause I don't, if you start crying, I'm going to start all over again. Too. <laughs> no, he was going, shit, I'm after over at the barbershop. For real, seven that's what now. he was thinking. He was like, oh shit, I'm going to have to go to work. Or maybe he was like, man, I can't wait for this physical therapist to leave so I can smother my brother with a and pillow. Just snuff him what out. Just snuff him out. What? I'm sorry. I'm just. I, hey, I'm, that's something. Because guess what? <laughs> I'm J.R. Ewing. He's Bobby. And my daddy is Jacques. So it wouldn't be far fetched for Bobby to want to smother out J.R. <laughs> and I don't know who any of those people are, I but I get From yeah, Dallas. Yeah. But Dallas, the, sh- the show? The show, Dallas. You didn't watch that. Man, I'm not that. I mean, Craig, and you're what, 49 on Friday? Friday. 50. 
No, forty nine fifty. No, nah, run up, roll, uh, you got to round up like you did me. Yeah, round yeah. it up. Oh yeah, <laughs> nice yeah. round fifty. <laughs> yeah, I'd be fifty. So, Craig, Abby. I feel like I feel like you did you did talk about this on the podcast because then you said that wasn't re, you said Rio was yeah. like home, making you food when you came home. Yeah, I came home like a day before my birthday. So my birthday comes and I'm just so happy to be alive and and you know I'm dealing with it. And who shows up? Rio rings the doorbell and he asks me, where's the grill? <laughs> That's what's up. And then he just went to cooking. Mm. What and did you think? I'm joking. Like what did you lit. make though? What did he make? He had first a bag. Meal. He had grouper, burgers. He had shrimp. He had, what all you had in that bag? It was a lot oh, of seafood. Uh, lobster tails. Lobster tails. Oh, a shrimp. lot of seafood. Yeah. Uh, the group and my burgers. mom's waiting on him to come back. <laughs> she well, pulled me to the side. She Reno, was like, well, when Reno coming back? Yeah, where did you what you call these things again? <laughs> these, these group of burgers? Where you got them from? <laughs> well, you said that's when you realized that Rio was like a, a real, real ass one. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna tell you no lie, man. That was a that was a bonding moment right then. Well, that's great. I'm glad you guys had that bonding moment. I'm still waiting for mine where Rio will actually talk to me about what the I fuck mean, happened days, last night. Seth, some days you, you get like real close to bonding <laughs> and, then you take, and then you go left. You I watched the Bucks get their ass whooped. Yeah, okay. Hey, 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 and what hey, happened down, after? And why down. are you talking so sexy today? Why are you tired, Rio? Like, I know what's going on. Like, wow. I, I smell you, man. I know what's going on. Wow. He said yeah, talking yeah, sexy out here. He goes, wow. I got, Rio was, Rio, you, it took Rio. You were Rio, checked into the sweat hotel. It took <laughs> It took, it took Rio a while. Like I used to have to try to get Rio like r- involved in the show real early because he started off like yeah, 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 and then by the end he would be fucking yelling and laughing and shit. So but see what happened is we had to learn how to get our um, cannabis content. You had dialed in perfect. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And exactly. how did you? Can't be too high, right? Yeah. You, you and you can't you were, be not high. You think see, you were? Seth, I've been over here and been sleep. <laughs> What like net before or yeah, now? He was like telling me about the that show. the other day. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like yeah, he dozes off. He's a dozer. Wait, you've dozed off during this podcast. He, he's dozing yes. off right now. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, that's, that's it's a it's a superpower you get when you're a granddaddy. All right. Well, that's a as soon as you become a granddaddy, you can go to sleep hopefully, anywhere. I got, you're well, welcome. My daughter becomes only... narcoleptic. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you get, as soon as you get grandkids, you be in the middle of talking and be like, "Y'all put that." <laughs> <laughs> Alright, can can you guys tell me about the uh the guy that came in the barber shop yesterday that was trying to sell motor oil for four dollars? Um, talking about Judas? Uh, yeah. Judas <laughs> Judas came in. I could I could smell Judas and I don't <laughs> Did you and, smell him? Oh, I could smell him, yeah. Oh, I could smell wow. him. Buddy, pole cat Judas. Pole yeah, cat. He smells like a pole cat. So he comes in and he's like, Hey, can you, anybody want this motor oil for four bucks? And I was like, Wow, this is a real this is a fucking interesting thing to sell. <laughs> so I mean, Craig's like fuck with the guy. Craig's like, Oh man, this is good shit here. He's like, but I don't think Craig's like, I don't think you should be charging four for it. And he's like, Judas is like, how much do they actually charge? Craig like I don't know, three? I don't know. And then Craig, then Craig goes, I guess, he goes, I guess four is okay. So then the guy goes, uh, uh, he goes, anybody need a tool? Anybody need a toolbox? And, a toolbox. and Craig goes, no, man, these are my tools right here. And I was like, what the fuck, man? I hope he doesn't ask me. And then he ended up sweeping the hair. What is go? It's just I know this is just part of the barbershop, but who who is this man? Do we need to have him on? Is he we don't know. Mr. Peabody. We don't know who that is. Come get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Who is this? Jesus, I think so his name, man. his real name is Mike, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and now Mike also came in. He was saying that there were black Jews, and you guys were denying that. You guys thought he was crazy for saying that that was Well, that that's was- why we call him Judas. He looked like one of the damn 12 disciples, <laughs> especially when he got them goddamn. You ever seen the uh, movie The Book of Clarence? Yes, yes. Okay, he looks just like that motherfucker, <laughs> don't he? Is he on some shit? Or like he's on a whole ton of crack. What's he? Oh, he's on crack? <laughs> a lot of it. Oh, so he gets, he gets he's on, the- on crack. Fit dog, fit dog, uh, uh, booty alcohol, juice, <laughs> and dinglings. He said yeah. booty juice. Yeah. He, did you see that part of? You didn't even notice that part of him. Yeah. He. he Wait. He, did you say dinglings? That's yeah. He's said. a dingling chaser. That's uh. He likes gentlemen. Yeah. He likes the men. Okay. I mean, that's cool, right? Do you guys? Do you guys pay him to sweep up? You give him a couple dollars. And he gets straight. He gets the crack. That's it. 
I just, don't know. I don't know what he does with it. He he leaves. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just we don't we don't go that far. Well, I assume that that's probably what he's going to do with it. Well, you guys talked about you made my stomach hurt a little bit when you said that. Mm. Just what? thinking about what he does after he leaves there, <laughs> Mister Peabody. Well, I mean, he ends up in the shop somehow. <laughs> have well, you he, ever have you ever bought up. anything for him, from him before? No, no. Okay, <laughs> he normally doesn't have anything to sell. Is that, nothing worth selling? Yeah, he had a banjo. I mean, a guitar. He had a guitar yesterday. Yeah, that guitar looked and like it was might have worth something. It, he couldn't he play stole a it. note. <laughs> He definitely stole. Where they steal it from? Do you, I mean, like, well, I mean, it's not necessarily stolen when it, it came off the pile off of people's shit that done damn the right. house is right. fucked up. Yeah, they, the Milton pile. Yeah, man, yeah. And the shit yeah. on the side of the road. People's the, everything is on the side of the road right now. Oh, his walking ass pawn is shop. walking through like, oh man, look at all <laughs> of this stuff. All this good shit. <laughs> These people throw it away. It's like. Um, yeah, but you know another thing, he he with those sandals on, he really looks like a disciple. He looked like he walked with Jesus. And then and then Lance goes, Behold. <laughs> when he walk up, when he, he walks be like, in. Behold in his eye. Judas. Judas. <laughs> so is it worth it just giving him a couple of bucks to uh you know, to clean the uh to clean the hair? It no. depends on how he smells. Right. He was but you couldn't tell yesterday? That was that was like a, mild. That was mild. Yeah, well, that you was guys, a light day. You guys had mentioned about bringing him on the podcast, and then you said you were gonna have to clean him up. And then Craig, you said you would drive him over because I yeah. think Rio yeah. is not gonna put him in the Lexus at all. No, I don't have a Lexus. What do you have? Infinity. Yeah, yeah it's not a Lexus. Okay, man. What Lexus is expensive. You, I feel like you want to fight me today or something? No, I just it. had to set the <laughs> no, record set straight. I, don't, I, don't, I don't want people walking around thinking I'm rich. I thought you had a Lexus, man. It's no, not. stop saying that. What? I don't. <laughs> he thinks. Okay, it, shit, man. It puts I titles. I'm going to put him in the back of the Nissan. <laughs> okay, yes, you're going to put you're going to put Judas in the Nissan. No, in the back. In the back. Yeah. And you're going to bring him over here. In the back of the Nissan, dude. Like, like the far back. Like yes. the trunk? Yes. The <laughs> and, backpack. And and he he seems like he'll be very interesting to talk to. He will be very interesting to talk to. Okay. He will. And I, I, I he do did a, a poem. He did a poem yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you, you, you miss that? With the good time. With the good time. Shut the fuck up. Oh, you, that yeah, shit you, was you funny. <laughs> what the fuck was he saying? What he did? She had something to do with it. She knew. She true was. It had something to do with a girl. <laughs> the girl. She did it. She so, did it. That every was like it. every little uh, she line was. She did it. Bloom. She did it. <laughs> was he freestyling or was yes. it? Just I don't seem, know okay. what the fuck that yes. was. That was all crack. Right. Was, was he trying to get you to like throw him some cash or something no. like that for the performance? No. no, we was just fucking with him at that point. I know. I'm glad you guys at least gave him a few dollars to you know. Get Why do you feel so sorry for these people? Um, I just I think it's a tough life, man. No, it's not. It's they chose it. I, I chose it. Hours, bro. Chose Everybody it. has twenty four hours. I he chose I, it. I'm indifferent about this question. Okay. Because, First of all, let yeah, us talk, introduce well, you to everybody because nobody even knows who you are. This is okay. Jer- this is Jer- okay, Jared. Go ahead, introduce yourself. All right, what, I, whatever name you want to go by. My my bad. That's JD. JD. Yes. Okay, JD. Yes, sir. Friends, best friends with Latarian. Brothers. 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 Yes. Brothers. Okay. He brought you in today. I know that you're in the military. Yes. That's really all that they. That's really all that they told me about you. Okay. So I. So go ahead and tell me about yourself and how excited you are to be here today. Uh, super excited to be here. Um, Yay! Yay! Um, <laughs> a little short story. I joined the military. Spent ten years in the military. Got out. Started my own business. I'm a veteran. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I wife and kid. Oh, really? Yeah. How old's your kid? She is one. Okay. About to turn two in January. All right. Congrats, okay. man. Good, Good stuff. Hey. That's awesome. Good job, JD. Thank you. Thank now, why are you indifferent about crackheads? All right. I'm not indifferent about crackheads <coughs> because we weren't talking about crackheads specifically. We were talking about Judas. We were talking about the lifestyle. Judas. Yes. Okay. Judas. So as a kid who is innocent, being born into this world, the environment you are in shapes and molds you, but you still have the decision to do what you need to do to get out of it. Correct? Yes. Somewhat, yeah. Somewhat explain. I'm not gonna let you walk me down. I'm not to walking you. Answer d- that you I'm want. not walking you down okay, nowhere. Yes, that let him walk to that question. Is yes. Yes, exactly. So, okay. if this person who suffered something 
traumatic in that his childhood. That probably was a ding in his butt. Something. You don't know that, though. Right. He likes it. You don't know. Right. I'm just Apparently speculation. he does. It's a variable. <laughs> it is a variable. I'll add it to the, uh, the equation. It's a variable. <laughs> this boy taking us through algebra. <laughs> but I'll just say, you don't know what happened for him to get to where he is. And know. I do know, and I do know this for a fact. Okay. The choice that he made mm -hmm. was his choice. It was. It was that choice that you went and fought for, for him to make that choice. Yes. Mm -hmm. On his own. And he chooses every day to take advantage of that luxury and that freedom. He chooses to smoke crack Damn. and live amongst the ashes and the shit of society yeah. and be a part of the shit of society. No matter what happened to him when he was, or with his environment, because I could take that same example mm -hmm. with the army. Y'all done seen shit over there during war and in the military that most hum most of us regular people, it'll fuck us up. Mm -hmm. But you done seen it. It didn't make you go smoke crack. It didn't make you do anything adverse. Because you had a choice. That you know of. But I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. shut up. But, no, 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 no. Well, uh, here, no, no, no. I'll, I'll say this. You keep going, JD. Right I'll say, I'll say this. I'll say this, I'll say this right now. The reason that I got out, crack, you wouldn't have a wife and kids and all that stuff. The reason I got out of the military after ten years of service, to smoke crack, was because of the leadership. You wanted to smoke crack, but no. again, oh, okay. it was the reason <laughs> and the environment and everything Boom. caused you to make that choice. And I was, and that's the same thing he was in, but. That's the common same thing. sense isn't so common. We all know this. Because, it ain't. But right. guess what? We live and you fight for this for us to be able to have that freedom. Yes. To be dumb or to be smart, to be a crackhead and live that life and not always blame it on your environment and everything else. Because so what you if still he was had kidnapped? a choice. Don't matter. You that, got what? people that was kidnapped that still didn't choose to go smoke crack. No, 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 no. I'm saying this is what I'm saying. It's, you, there's, you don't know this spectrum behind the story. I understand that. Everybody yes. has a story. What I'm trying to get at is we're going to eliminate all the finger pointing and excuses that w that is the problem in our black community because we always tend to point to everything but ourself and, the, and, and what we could have done mm -hmm. to make that situation better. Yes. We blame it on our environment. We blame it on the white man. We blame it on everybody but us, but we had that choice. Mm -hmm. We blame it on your baby mama. You blame it on everybody, but you had a choice, and you always have a choice, always. Mm -hmm. And we actually do have the choice to choose to blame it on body and not take accountability. That man, I don't feel sorry for him or any other person that chooses that lifestyle because you chose that. And I'll say this. I think my disposition on the subject is looked at a little bit differently. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, what is it, JG? It feels like, uh, did you, do you have somebody in your life that kind of went through something? It feels like, um, you know, it feels like you've got firsthand experience with... Uh, because you, what the fuck? <laughs> you can do this like before the show starts. Or check, we're trying to be some up fresh. Go ahead. Well, I need wait a something minute. to drink. The, the man, the, 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 I feel, Everybody pop your cans. I feel like I'm about to like get get something from from my man here, and then you guys are fucking you know celebrating like we and just won the know, WNBA championship. The WNBA? I heard that one. Good one. That is, well, good yeah. One. You slid that one <laughs> well, I mean, it just happened. The New yeah. York team yeah. won, so, yeah. you know. Yeah. New York Liberty. Yeah, that's Shout right. out to those women. Guess what? <laughs> they won the national, they won their little championship, and then now Kamala's going to be president. Okay, well, we'll get, you know, listen. But before that, J.D. finished. Yeah. <laughs> before I, Kamala's I, president, yeah. I, I was waiting, and I actually have been listening to you guys. I was like, Oh, I lost where I was now. <laughs> oh, we done okay. went around the whole world. Yeah, we Damn. Did. We did. <laughs> when you were at work, okay. you were saying that your disposition is a little different because... Because... So I do have the... Okay, this one. I do have the... the uh, first-hand experience. First-hand experience of going to a different country and seeing how... Here, get the, up on that mic a little more. Sorry about that. You're good, good. Go ahead. Seeing how your um, environment does mold and shape your thinking. Your mold, it molds and shapes your thinking. Now, I'm not blaming anybody else for somebody's environment because we do all have the choice to make it out. But some of us don't, who get trapped into these sex 
things where the only way out is through death or something crazy. So you can't just say that people are, choose, yeah, or, choose to go crazy yeah. when okay. they, you see what I'm saying? Okay, so when they escape from their terror, mm -hmm. instead of self-medicating, could they have found something else to work through this? Is that a Bible? You know what I'm saying? So what I'm getting at is there are choices. Is it? I don't that's know. That's all we're saying. It's that's all we choices. were saying. That's, and I, I, I support that, saying. but yeah, I didn't want you. Choices. I didn't want you to think because that I was. Sit there and say like, that I went even when anything. you brought up the uh, uh, example of going out to other country. Mm -hmm. Guess where sex is the only fucking place where there's a choice in the, in the environment. This is the only country where sex is that where yeah. your environment shapes your sex and all that shit. <laughs> Other countries, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, I don't know if... We don't... This America, we have so many freedoms that other countries don't have, which, again, it does shape the thinking of the individual, but it's more, in my eyes, you ain't got no damn crackheads over in damn Jamaica running around yes, you do. in the third world. Not like yes, here. Not like here. Not, like, not here. like here. I went to St. Vincent there's, and the Grenadines. I mean, there was crack there there crack too. all over the world. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying it's not epidemic like it is here. Like you got a crackhead that really can survive and live off of the street. Yes. Because it's so fucking plentiful here. It's, and I, that's the freedom that we have. They choose to do that. I, you can go to the down down to City Hall right now and file for a peddler's license. That means I can stand on the corner with a sign and beg for money. Yep. I've been nowhere else in the world where you can do that. And you don't have to pay taxes. Right? And they don't have to pay no taxes. They paid a little twenty five dollars or something for the peddler's fee. And that's the problem. Because and they don't have to do it in it. other countries. We help it. We we, we do it. help it. And we I understand that and then when I went to other countries people... and I see these people who are, they don't beg. So when I went to St. Vincent, right. when I went to Iraq, there is always oh, a, a market or some type of thing that they can sell that they get their hands on, i.e. coconut water in mm -hmm. St. Vincent. Right. It, it grows free. They bottle it and they sell it. And they sell it. And they, they that's what Sometime they use. Sometimes they don't eat. even bottle it. They just cut the they thing cut off the, and, exactly. and give it, put a straw in it and hand it to you. This. But those and are the now. In that case, they're still working to get what they need. They're not begging. They're, they're not. not. And their environment makes them have to do that. And I. But they're you, not begging. I. Our environment makes it conducive to for beg. them to do that. So how do you beg. fix it? Well, I mean, I don't we're, know. We're, we're talking in circles now. How do you fix it? If if the you only wanna, thing that we have. Hear, you don't want to hear my answer. Oh, man. your answer is Just your answer. Just shoot that's fine. Well, That's Craig, I, Craig, are you? I mean, because what? you because you are have the uh, you know addiction gene, and and you went through this. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. that you don't See, have. If I know right now, if I know that if I go back, I'm gonna die. That's gonna pretty much keep me clean. No, I I understand that, but I'm just you know you know when you were in it, there was nothing anybody could do. Yeah, but that was my choice. But every doesn't it get day, a, doesn't it get a hold of you? Listen, That's, and every day, even though I'm physically addicted, I still made the choice instead of going to start the journey to becoming not addicted, I chose to go further down the addiction hole. It's still a choice. It's you know when they say you hit, That's you know when you hit rock bottom? Hours. You know when you hit rock bottom, Seth? Is when you stop digging. Okay, that's what that's very wise. When you stop digging, that's your bottom. You guys you guys blowing up today? You guys getting a lot of appointments or what? Well, you know, I got a fresh bag of crack and what is that? <laughs> See? The full circle. We're, we're talking about fixing things you know, and then we I go mean, right yeah, back. And then I'm just kidding. But you know, that's you how know, I'm just It's just easy just showing to you say, how let's yeah, fix yeah, yeah, it yeah, when it. you know the pro you know the, the answer. Yeah. You stop, you fix it by, oh, well, let's stop bringing the cocaine into the country. Mm. Straight up. because We this. ain't bringing it to the crackheads, mm. ain't the drug dealers, the crackheads. You can't even grow no anybody. cocaine in this country. You yep. got to leave it and go in a whole nother hemisphere to grow some cocaine. Okay. And nobody has a plane. There's a lot of details. There's a in lot there. of details. That means there's a lot of uh, people over our head 
That's, I mean, you, let's get, the government that, is bringing the shit in. I just think I think that JD has a little bit of empathy for 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 crackheads and for people that are are living that that rough life. I understand that all of you guys say that's ex- a choice. I just I feel like that's you have. A, am I am I am I coming across? Yeah, he with does you, have JD? some empathy for. Yeah, him. what's the let me ask I you. have empathy <clears throat> for him too because this is what I believe. Okay, if I'm getting off the interstate and I got somebody with a sign that says "Please help." Anything will help. And then they got a dog or a on, kid. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. All right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then I give them a dollar and they were like, oh, boy, I'm going to get something to eat. And really, they were trying to save up to get a rock. I really don't like, I really can't condone that. Like, that bothers me. I can't That's empathize. why you don't I use can't money. Empathize that. No, hold That's on. why you don't use but money. But when you see a guy that has a sign that says, why lie? I need a beer. I'm getting him a six pack. Okay, so that's your personal. That's what and you want to do. It still perpetuates that, though. It does. It does. But and it that's, also, he was telling his truth. So where do we stop being humans, and we st- and we stop caring for each other? Listen, when you stop doing that, even though we, I was joking and caring, you know. But, no, no, I but love. But when you. you stop doing that, that's when you stop living. Exactly. Yeah. That's the biggest problem. You also go this. broke trying to help everybody. That's you don't right. have to help see, people with money. You don't have to help people with money. Money. That's what, that's what, <laughs> Just because you helping them not with money doesn't mean it won't break you. No, you still it, had to get bottle of food to give them. No, still, no, no. It took time. It advice, took effort. guidance. People, you saying these people are lost. They, they're not oh, making the right yeah. decisions. Many, yeah. They're many, not making the right yeah, decisions, how right? Bombs, how many bombs? They're not making the right decisions? How many bombs have... So you're saying that none of these bums have gotten fucking advice in their life. That's okay. They don't take it. As this, just because you're offering the advice, don't make you a, so, a saint I'm now. Use it. So this, make you this is what you're saying. Make the that ain't helping this is the what you're saying because you gave them some advice. That's not helping. This is what you're saying because <laughs> you can't do more than just give somebody advice. You shouldn't give them advice at all. No, they no. had a choice. They had a choice. But you so can still help them by giving them. Yeah, it don't matter how much made. advice because you chose at the end to get of the day, at the child. end of the how day, I can still. At the end of the day, I can still say, "Hey, man, you might want to pick up this book or whatever the case may be." At the, it don't, See, it don't cost me nothing. It don't cost me nothing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All that's gonna do is make you feel better about yourself. No, it don't. That ain't gonna do shit for him. No, it don't. It does nothing for him. No, it's not for him. And you know what? I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna say. T, chime in. Is that for me, or am I really caring for the other person? That's for you. I feel like you caring for the person, but don't me, don't be a bandwagon, bro. I'm Speak not the bandwagon. truth. I'm not Speak the truth. Me, I got kids, bro. I'm not focused on nobody else. Crack air or not? See. Thank you. That's see, fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, no, but, but see, I also would say this: being that me and Rio work in the predominantly poorer side of town, I have more interaction. With people who have chose to be homeless or chosen this lifestyle where they're living off the land doing dope. And don't get me wrong. I love to give advice. I love to help people. I also know that it's no need in me wasting my voice. Thank you. So when you waste because your voice and you still be in the barbershop some- bullshitting. Is that yeah, I could have gave some good advice to it because kid. I chose okay. to go and uh pursue my career and help out some kids or some other That's people fine. that yeah. are trying to make the same choices I made yeah. in life and yeah. not choose to smoke crack again. You said, How does it help the situation? Giving advice doesn't necessarily help the situation, if anything, it might perpetuate it. Giving advice is better than doing nothing. Well, what about if you're doing something, but you pick and choose your spots? If you, because that's okay. what we're doing. We He's pick saying and we're not doing spots. anything about a choice that somebody else chose to make. <laughs> no, see, this is that's what, what I'm saying. We this choose is what to I'm, do nothing about know, a choice know, I, that someone else made. I get both sides of it in this, a country that we <laughs> all grew up in and, and and were afforded the same freedoms Some and the people, same. There's a song things. called "Harry Hippie," and the chorus goes, "How can I help a man?" When he's sleeping on the ground. And the whole gist of the song that is... That song sounds like it sucks. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. It does. But it was sung by a great man. So the whole gist of the song is you can't help somebody that doesn't want to be helped. 
And that's where improvement, you like that's where variables come in at. I get what that that doesn't want open it. To I get what JD's saying, but you also don't know the variables of the barbershop of Judah. You, the same shit that you said earlier. So that's why I understand both sides. Giving him advice might not be fucking beneficial. He might be too far gone. It ain't no point in wasting no breath on him. Four we're time. we're talk so now we have to decide if we're talking about an individual or the masses. Because from my understanding, I'm speaking with general. general. It started He's there, speaking. but it went to a general conversation. <laughs> Thank you. That, so, because we're talking now about just hey, helping JD, people. JD, before but you came on the show, again, we were not this analytical. God damn it. <laughs> hey, hey, the go ahead, switch happened. the subject. Oh, well, you're supposed to be interviewing what me the anyway. What happened? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we're in here discussing world politics on crackheads. So I see this. Instead of you giving... Your advice or money to crackheads, please give it to my grandkids. Every time you see a crackhead and they ask or want something, bite your tongue and run and give whatever you <laughs> needed to give. To Kate and to Kyler. Thank you. Real quick. I, I'm just going to say this before you. Do you know who the dancing man is? Who? Off of 28th. Oh, Kenny. Kenny. Who's the dancing with man the blue on hair? with the blue hair? Nope, nope, nope. Not, not Kenny. That not that. Not that it's dancing a, man. It's a dude at the Wildwood exit off of, uh off on Twenty Eighth Street. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. original <laughs> dancing. Yeah, yeah. Dancing he be standing man. right there on the corner, hitting Chicken. it. He be doing yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He doing That's the money the crack dance. dance. <laughs> that is a crack dance. That's a crack dance. And I had a conversation with him. Did he get any crack money from? You ready? You ready for the conversation? He was walking past my house. I said, "Hey, man." Come here, dude, just to talk to him. And he said, I don't know why you're so nice to me. I really do appreciate it. I don't, I've never asked for anything from you, but everything you have done has made me do better things in my life. I that don't know if he's lie. lying. That was a crackhead lie. But I don't give it, I don't care at the same time. It made because you if better. he is going forth and doing better things in his life, it doesn't affect me if he's doing good or if he's doing bad. It sounded but if, like if his life is better because I gave him some advice, or whatever the case may be, and he's good now. I'm, I'm fine. Whatever. He's still out there uh, dancing it's on the fine. court. Yeah, yeah. that's right fine. But what if he's yeah. happier? But what if he got past something? It just sounds like, like to me, and like an I keep saying, stroking. it sounds like it was just for you. You yeah. feel and better about yourself because you felt like I spent ten years in the like military, I and you guys people. just don't understand humanity. And you understand, and you did that. Then what, that's fine. What helped that's, you? What helped you understand? Uh, but the, what you need to understand is, like, just because you feel better about helping people, I said I don't didn't, make it a change. I didn't say I feel better. It doesn't I change said anything. If it helps them out, regardless if I feel good about it, if it helps them out, it's a positive in the world for whoever to take the W. So, for that so person what to take the W. I don't have don't, to take it. What happens because when they I'm, don't make the right choice? That's who takes the loss. They do. Just like they would take the W if they decide to change their life from hearing one piece of word. You don't know oh, what could change somebody's life. A really? sentence can change somebody's life. Okay. But I, 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 I'm just going to back off because I love you guys. and I like the passion. Was there one thing in the military that helped you kind of get a different perspective on all of humanity? Was there one, or was um, it just your uh, whole period of time being in it? Uh, the military teaches its NCOs to be cookie cutters when they come to their soldiers. We're supposed to treat them all the same, yell at them all the same, but everybody comes from a different walk of life. Uh, I had a 32-year-old uh, specialist, and I was an NCO. I, I was over him at the age of 25. Mm. So... How did that go? Yeah, exactly. Am I am I finna yell at this thirty two year old, or I take him to the side, which is perfectly fine, and I say, "Hey Jones, you're older than me. I respect my elders. Not saying you're old like that, but I get the respect, bro. If you respect my position, I will respect your age and me being younger than you. I've never had a problem out of Jones because I took the time to just say that. Mm. Jones sounds like a pussy. <laughs> I hope Jones is listening. Jones was a phenomenal soldier. Jones is Sergeant Davis. 
That was a joke. Uh, that was a joke. Well, you know what? Whether the, Jones, whether you're in the mil- whether you're in the military or whether you're a boss, I mean, uh, there are some people that have a one blanket way of, of handling everything. And I learned a long time ago, being in radio, dealing with every all these personalities, that everybody's different. Everybody's got to be handled differently. So, I mean, once you realize that that every single person's different, and there's not just one way to handle things, I think that can really uh, re- can really help you just in life. I mean, if not, you know, definitely business. So. Hell yeah! Thank hell you. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right hell now. Yeah. Hell yeah! All right now, Terry, and I got a I got a question for you, and this is something your dad brought up yesterday, What's and, up? and I told him I was going to bring this up, and I'm I'm sure it's going to be awkward for you, but you know, let's let's get you involved on the, on the podcast. Um, what the fuck? What the? F- <laughs> what the? F- what do you mean? What the fuck, go, man? Man, answer the go. question. All right, you, Craig. Craig wants to know why you're not with your baby mama. He thinks that that's the right woman for you. I feel like you asked that question, you fucking dickhead. Me? <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, my dad. No. I've talked. He knows the answer. No, that. no. We said we talked yesterday, and he said that that JD and your baby's mama were are always there. Were there for you when you get out of jail? Like that? She she bailed you out. Uh huh. That that's real love and support is I think what. Your dad was saying yesterday. Am I right, Craig? I mean, we had. The, do you remember this conversation? Or? Seth, are you doing everybody today? What do you mean? Am I? No, doing? it's cool. I'm. No, I'm because fine it's with like that. you just. You just today. You're just phenomenal today. You're to just an, to answer that question. He knows that that wasn't me. What yeah. are you? <laughs> <laughs> but to answer your question. Answer your question. Um, I'm not being disrespectful, man. I'm no, just, no, you're no. Good. Go ahead. It's a podcast. Yeah. Let's go. For me, it's it's more so we're just too much alike like i don't care to really be around her we can co-parent perfectly but when we're together it just gets toxic um, like toxic over time or toxic like within like hours like over time okay yeah um it is what it is we both got shit to do both immature about certain aspects of our life also so does she want to be does she want to be with you probably so does she support you? Yeah. Craig? I mean, not like financially. <laughs> right, right. No, but I mean, just, you know, just being Emotionally. there. Oh, yeah. Like if I was like, oh, I'm finna go jump off the Skyway, she'd be like, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah buddy. <laughs> You want me to take you? <laughs> yeah, like you need a ride. Want me to drop you See, off? You, you told the truth. Yeah, you need a ride. That was good, Seth. All right, well, listen, man. I'm not talking about everything. I'm not talking about all, all, everything you told me at the barber shop yesterday, Craig. No we, one told you anything, Craig. Seth. We got deep. No, you think we got? No, deep. you told me it all, man. <laughs> Seth, 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 that's funny. Stop it. I'm gonna <laughs> stop. No, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm just saying just you told me it all. It. Here, watch this, guys. All right, I'll get off this. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that uh, Donald Trump was in Pennsylvania. Obviously, a big state that he's trying to win. He had yeah, a- He had Antonio Brown. <laughs> yeah, come, come out. Get the fuck out of he here. Had, he had Antonio yeah. Brown come out. Shit was comical. Say a, say a few words about Donald Trump and how they're both the same and. How they overcome adversity and how when they get kicked, they, you know, they, we're not wrong. Right, they get back up. <laughs> they I, are. I, I, I want. <laughs> I want to know who do you think would be a worse person to have endorse you oh, to boy. be the president of the United States than Antonio Brown? Is there any other? I mean, I mean, Lars Taylor. I don't, man. No, I don't. Because, I mean, you got to look at who the damn Antonio Brown is even representing. Yeah. He doesn't have the best reputation. He doesn't. Of, yeah. I mean, Mr. Trump, he, he's done a uh, whole lot. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> he's said and done a whole I'm lot. Okay, all right. The, the, so, guy, I mean, the guy that beat his wife up in the elevator. Oh, Ray Rice? Ray Rice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be worse. To have Ray Rice know. come out. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that might be. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, Ray the, Rice is The Ray- guy who you're represented said, grab her by the vagina. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. what he said. That's what he mm-hmm. said. He also said the Haitians and Venezuelans <laughs> are out here eating people's animals. <laughs> well, I think I, it, uh, Antonio Brown's a slapped, uh, I think he slapped movers around. Uh, you know, I think he's he beaten up. Ellie, well, he threw, um, he threw he's supposed to have yeah. uh, uh, fucked up the, Tom Brady's marriage and yeah, shit. Yeah. 
He said he hunched Giselle. No, he they didn't. Say he walked he did. around That's what they said. Naked. Was swinging his wiener and shit. Get the, all right. I think That's he, what they said. I think he lived with Tom Brady for a bit, but you, uh, I mean. They you, said something happened. You That's guys what think they said. That's what they're saying? You guys think that? We man, heard it. They say the man walked A whole walked lot of around. people say it, too. This is what they said he did. He would get out the shower and put on boxers while he was still wet. And walk around the house with his Johnson with swinging his big around. Johnson. Shut the fuck! There's kids there, man. <laughs> this is in a sex dungeon that that, that Tom I'm Brady was living in. Oh the kids God. was with the nanny when you that's had got right. down rich. The kids ain't nowhere. No they kids probably ain't never even at the house. That's right. Do you guys? Do you guys you really ha- think that? Yeah. Yes. And we got situations like Diddy walking around here. That's a whole nother situation. That's, that's, that's the same that's different. thing. Oh, Diddy, my. This Diddy, was Diddy, crazy, This though. was a Diddy. man walking Diddy around crazy, though. like Jacques. His name was Jacques. Jacques. And, yeah. <laughs> and he wanted to know what's <laughs> wrong, girl. Yo, <laughs> yeah. And I fix it for you. What did Thomas do to your baby? What did Thomas do? <laughs> I can fix it. And then he proceeded to throw his dick over his shoulder. Oh my god. And gosh. carry her to the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? And this who Trump go to get the damn represent him. Yeah, that's right. Oh but again, god. I mean, you know, it was they, a choice. They actually is uh, oh, they cool oh, people. Oh. But what about they're made I don't know, for each man. other? Let's back up. Let's Trump rewind. made a choice. <laughs> he made a choice. Both Boom. sides. Both sides have they gotten got, Ain't no Very advisor in his ear. ridiculous endorsement. I think those are two oh bosom goodness. buddies, man. They I think they are choice. fucking was birds AB, of a feather. Wasn't AB also had, he was at the same massage parlor that Robert Kraft was at? Well, I didn't hear that, but I mean, that definitely wasn't, that was probably the least of his problems. I but think, I mean, th- this was a known fact that they both. And then Trump owned the place? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they thought they thought they thought that the masseuses were being sex trafficked, but they weren't. So it was just a standard wow. happy finish, not with like anything you know illegal. We love you long time. Yes, we love you long time, uh, Mr. Trump. Uh, Latarian, you mentioned that uh, both both candidates have ridiculous endorsements. Uh, as far as Antonio Brown, I would have just said, I know he's a, he's a star and he's got a big name. I would have told, uh, I would have had him pass on as far as talking in Pennsylvania. Uh, what do you think? Who are some other ridiculous endorsements? I mean, uh, they talk about on a podcast before like even with Megan twerking on stage like yeah. uh, all of this shit yeah, is buffoonery bro it's it just, is fucking why is Donald Trump going to Aiden Ross's podcast yeah, yeah stuff yeah. like that you, you know? know I mean I think it's I think it's smart that that Trump is doing that kind of media because um, his son Baron who I guess is like 18 19 told him about that the Theo Vaughn podcast I mean traditional media radio TV and stuff like that I mean it's it's there's so many places that 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 it covers now. So uh, to me, when I see like Donald Trump or, you know, Kamala went on the call me daddy podcast. When I see that to me, I think it's a good sign, I guess maybe just for maybe what we do for a living, as far as, you know, primarily digital (laughs) content that it's being recognized on a bigger scale because they're going to it. I support that. And they're trying to at the same time, reach those younger audiences. But the younger audiences are the ones that like Aiden Ross's show. Mm -hmm. Who do you think watch that show? kids like they can't vote like can't vote at all yeah why, but, why is Trump still, going? but then they will why be wouldn't able to vote why wouldn't you go to somebody that's more um and the lack of terms important important who has joe rogan has a podcast no i didn't say don't go no, there that's what i'm saying though you're going to these the like the the buffoonery aiden ross buffoonery megan style or megan the stallion. I'm buffoonery. talking about the buffoonery yeah. at the rallies. And as far as getting your your uh, topics out, what you believe in, what you feel like needs to happen for you to be a presidential candidate, yes, they're going on these podcasts to reach younger audiences. Who you can't vote? I don't think that's buffoonery, <laughs> but that's not the case. There's a, a I'm I'm sure if you did the numbers and looked the shit up, bro, there's a large percentage of people who can vote that do watch those. Um, these are major streamers, bro. These are people with huge contracts. So you're, I'm 
there's people that do analytics on this shit. I don't think they would be wasting not just going, the time exactly. doing this if there if it wasn't didn't a make sense. If it didn't make return. sense, yeah. you're absolutely yeah. correct. Some kind and, of and I will piggyback off that and but say... But the shaking ass on stage doesn't make sense. But at oh, the same it, time, it does to me. you can go well, on you liked it. a bigger yeah. podcast. I mean, yeah, Aiden, Aiden whatever his name, Ross well, you know is what? a big podcast. JD, I think for somebody like, uh, you know, for somebody like Joe Rogan, I think he has to balance of whether or not he wants to have somebody on like that yeah, that's going to bring so much you know didn't attention Joe rogan say he'll never vote for trump no i think joe joe rogan has just come out and said he's been talking to kamala's team and he's been i think he talked and said that he would have trump on they're they're talking about trying to get one if not both of them on his show at some point before the election so oh, okay. Okay. Hell, they got two weeks yeah, is, <laughs> well i'm just that that well you know it's a bit it, it's, it's a big one i mean that it's is not going to happen it's the if, biggest one if that happens it'll if be just happens. like uh cat Williams. And yeah, club if Shay that Shay. happens, yeah, club Shay Shay. That would clearly, yeah. if that was to happen, whoever has the best show, yes, will win. Yeah, exactly, and that's not and a that's presidential that's race. That's a popularity contest. That's right. That makes it back. We're in the fifth grade, and you're picking yeah, the class student president. Student council. Yeah, that's right. That's all. So whoever parent can buy candy for the class. Yep. That's what's going to win. win the. Student president Johnny passed out candy to the whole school. That's right. Or we had a popcorn cake party at the end of the week, and everybody got pizza. That's right. So <laughs> everybody made Alice the class president. Yep. Yeah. How many mm. people can vote in here? Every well, except I for can. Rio. Yeah. Okay. Everybody. Except. Okay. I just wanted to make yeah. sure. Well, Seth, can you vote? Yeah, I can. What do you mean? I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm the Just only one that's sure. the non-participant. Yeah, what do you mean, can I vote? I felt like there was like a, I a, thought maybe you had an undercover life where you may have been a criminal. No, I've I've got a very, uh, you know, uh, overcover life. Have where you I, been arrested before? Um, No, I was, I, uh, the. You've never had handcuffs on. What's the mm. worst law you broke? <laughs> None That's of them. Jaywalking. <laughs> None of them. Jaywalking. Really? I, I murdered a bitch one time. Oh, yeah. Straight to the top. Straight that to didn't the even top. sound right coming out your mouth. You guys thought I was oh, pussy, man. didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I, I murdered you. a yeah, bitch one great. time before. That you were grabbing great. knife yeah. and you shake it. That I'll, I'll tell great. you what I do on a regular basis. I park where they say you're not supposed to park. That's hey. great. I run, I run red lights in the, in the morning when, you know, nobody's, That's great. nobody's around. Ass. It only counts when you park somewhere where you ain't supposed to park and you got towed. Okay. Or you get if a you never got caught for or, you, or a had ticket. to pay for a tow truck or a ticket, <laughs> you didn't do then it. that don't count. Like you, you didn't get caught. You didn't break a rule or anything. Well, what it kind of, what kind you of, have to get caught for it to count. What kind of charge can I catch that wouldn't ruin my life but would impress you guys? Any of them? Because the weed, <laughs> you haven't caught any. The weed, the weed charges don't exist anymore. You know, like that. Shit me, shit me. The yeah. fact that he's thing. trying to catch some. a charge, nah, he's even if he, he about to impress us. You'll get a DUI if you high. Well, <laughs> yeah. well that, that's yeah. true. I mean, yeah, that's true. DUI. Or DWI. DWI. It's and still it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it still costs the same. Same. <laughs> it's yeah, for real. Expensive as shit. And I did learn from last week that. Um, about uh, Amendment Three and that to to not vote for the legalization of uh, recreational marijuana. See, why would you do that? Yeah, why would you do that? Why would you not do that? Me because I because it's it's been my it's been a dream since I was uh, to buy weed from Seven <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> What's Craig, your dream? What's Craig, your dream, Seth? I have a dream, <laughs> guys. For any, I don't know who does weed, who doesn't do weed. I don't know. Okay, but listen, nobody thought years ago. That we were ever going to be able to go into a store, dispensary, whatever you want to call it, and get weed. Right. California was like another country that yeah. they yes. had they they had medicinal marijuana, and then eventually went wreck. Mm -hmm. I thought this shady life of me meeting people behind yeah. the West Shore Mall to get a quarter yeah. ounce. I thought that was going to be the rest of my fucking life. Now, did that I, make you anxious? Yeah. <laughs> Drug dealers ever on time, you know, and then, oh, you, shit. then you got to sit in their car. I know a few. Yeah, I mean, there's a few good ones, but look, I know one. <laughs> I know good, good ones. ones. You got, you got right right off the top dealers, of my head. Bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, Craig was good, you know. I mean, like, no. what the? Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, me, and, uh, me and Seth went on a couple. We capers. did some runs. Yeah, Craig goes on a couple capers. <laughs> he says, "Keep the doors locked." <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 
in it. I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> Don't Lock open it for nobody but me. But me. <laughs> so, uh, on a, so, so to get to the point where we actually got, and I never thought that Florida being in the South, we would ever get medicinal. So the fact that we got that, the fact that I feel like we've come so far in my lifetime, I'm just ready to go all the way. There's no I way. thought you were saying so you were voting you, against but it. But why did you? Yeah, you just said you you were going to vote no. You, you want you said to not vote for recreational no, marijuana. I said no, why we do you said do why it? do you no, want to no, not you're vote? You're not going to vote no because I no. You should have did your own research. No, you I have a medical marijuana card. Why would I not vote for it? Well, I don't know. I told <laughs> Terry to last week he's vote. He said, said he voted against it. Yeah, yeah because I don't know why home grow. He wants to I want to know why grow. you changed your disposition. Because I want to fucking help you home grow, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, well then that means you got to vote yes. No, 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 no. What's no? I thought that was no. No, means no we're not going to pass it right now, and then we'll get two more years to reconstruct the amendment, and then they'll put growing in and there, and then we can we can converse about putting home grow in it. If not, it's going to be monopolized. They're going to own well, yeah, monopolize everything anyway. We, they, which I understand, but Duke it's just about that I read more so on the like, health aspect of it. I want, yeah, you should be able you, to, you to buy. Be able to, you should who? be able to. Grow your own yeah. or, you know, in the let's say I have an elderly lady next door to me and I'm growing my own plants and she can grow her own 12 and I just help her next door grow her stuff. You know, it, it, <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. It's just they lose me with this whole right thing and everybody look, vote this, vote that. And then I have to always come back to reality. <laughs> you can't vote at all. I was just going to say, oh my God. I was just going to say, he can't vote anyway. Why are we on this table right now? He's like, I'm yeah. voting yes. Hey, Wait, y'all talking about it. Yeah. 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 Let me know when y'all can bring another subject. Uh, Rio, you want to, uh, Rio, let me know if you want to come into the voting booth with me, okay? Just nah, see what it no. looks like. Yeah. I'm never going in there I'll again. get you a sticker. Did you know that marijuana they, use has come full circle? It's coming full circle. What? Back in Vietnam, we use hemp and marijuana for stuff. Mm-hmm. Like to chill out? Like, it, it probably wasn't illegal, but they didn't want people using it. And it grew over there, and they used hemp for a lot of our clothes and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, stuff. they still make they yeah. still make a lot of our shit so out of like, hemp. So, the, like, the market for marijuana has always been there, but the psychedelic as, aspects of it make it what people don't want us to use it for, so... And the well, healing aspects. Healing yeah. aspects Speaking well. of psychedelics, Seth, you ever did shrooms? Ooh. Um, I, I have, but not it they I don't think they worked on me. You know, I mean how I ma- how much did you eat? I ate like I don't know, like a, all of them. A, it was a chocolate one. It was on. Oh, a, that's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah come on, son. <laughs> yeah. I had a little corner. Um, <laughs> it's wavy, man. <laughs> I did it. I did it a couple times when I was uh, on a cruise to Mexico, which I hate cruises, and Mexico sucked. But like I, I, people were like, "Oh, like my my feet were like sinking into the sand and all this shit." But I didn't ever feel like too tripped out. But a lot of people that that use marijuana all, all of a sudden now are saying. You got to do shrooms. You got to do shrooms. To me, shrooms kind of take a hold of you more than weed does. That scares me a little bit. What are the What are the benefits of of, sh- of doing shrooms? Ego death. Mm-hmm. That's the never first did thing. it. That's the first thing. Ego death. But that's like on the spiritual aspect. So if you're but, like medicinal, micro dosing would probably is benefit more beneficial. A lot of people like shrooms are being used to like cut uh people that have like PT. Uh, PTSD. Help people get over like PTSD, yeah, heroin addiction, stuff like that. So <coughs> it is actually it is a beneficial. What is microdosing? Is that like just like where you take a hit of your vape all day kind of thing? Like is that where- it's like you would take like a point two or a point three every three days. Okay. So out of a month, you would take ten like mushroom capsules, and you know, let's say you start on Monday, Tuesday, that's when your body detox. Wednesday would be your rest day. You would take another small little capsule. On Larry, Thursday. he's giving guys. He's, are you writing this down? I mean, he's giving you the whole the whole way to do this. Yeah. <laughs> you, you and just, and you just call the you know, barbershop. The barbershop, <laughs> and I'll, I'll, and say I'll this. get you in contact with the people you need. And you guys can, you know, you guys are wasting your breath on trying to help people's with their lives. Wow, we you come see, full circle. We come full circle. I you like see that. how I just did that. You, on, yeah, you're you a dick for that. I am, yeah. but yeah. I just needed to see. <laughs> show I just to needed to fun. show y'all how JD. y'all were attacking me. He's been waiting to put the cherry on his point Ooh, though, the whole the show. Time. Oh, <laughs> actually, the real don't it. care. <laughs> I agree with it. And guess what? You know who he was acting like right then? 
Who? Alex P. Keaton. Who the hell is that? Nobody will even know who that is. Yeah, from Family Ties. Yep. Michael J. Fox. Yep. That's what he was just acting like. He got Parkinson's. I hope he's I don't, okay. I don't want him to have that. No, well, I mean, he's got it. It's too late. But he's I'm doing... talking about J.D. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we I don't, don't want J.D. JD to have that. Um, just, I want to close. I want to say this is a great podcast. Uh, J.D., it was great talking to you, man. Great getting to know you. Uh, would love to have you back. It's, would love, what do you, I feel like, so who's making noise? I feel like somebody's, uh, doesn't feel like my words are genuine here and they're huffing at me. No, real. No, that was just drinking, drinking some water. Right, man, Alkaline you, spring water guys. was super refreshing. Was just drinking yeah, water. Was what are you doing? Water, See, now we're going Seth. to gain up on you. Oh, man. All right. JD, I appreciate you coming in. I hope that you come in again. I like your perspective on things. Uh, I do want to. So ask- if you say that about everybody we bring. You brought. I didn't say that about. I didn't say. To, uh, I didn't say you Auntie. You said that to Auntie. Unk. Uh, I didn't say Auntie Unk. I love your perspective you on did. things. You did. I did say bring her back. Of course yeah, I said, said bring her back. You said the same thing to Auntie Unk. She didn't give a whole lot of perspective. Yeah. She, she did was hide and Cuda Brown <laughs> in that corner, man. And we got everything and we one needed time, out of her. I love hey, that listen. episode. <laughs> when she got the one point, she just shut down. She said, I just can't I'm talk done. no more. Yeah. 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 You need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny. I, I, I do want to. She wore a shirt for four days straight after that. Since Craig, you are making fun of me, um, you know that uh, that I say this about everybody, and you know that, that I'm, a joke, I know so. that you're calling people out. Well, I got something that's not a joke. How come you gave me a Hitler haircut yesterday? Damn! Oh, oh damn. yeah, that was a dark full, full circle. Yeah, full circle. Seth, I, right I, back I, at I like you, buddy. That, sense of humor, bro. <laughs> that was like dark. <laughs> Did you see it? You didn't see yeah, it. I saw you it. didn't see it. You oh, I didn't see, see a haircut. No, you no. didn't see the Hitler. Oh, you got to show me a picture. No, he actually we should have fucking took a picture. Oh my god. Damn, <laughs> he had a motherfucker with the comb over and oh, shit. No. He yeah. looked just like All that motherfucker. All he needed motherfucker. to do was this right here, T. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. All, All his this. family members and you ancestors was rolling so over Seth in their graves a, right uh, now. I black male with that picture. Seth, yeah, you have you have a been. mustache? No, 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 no. I just have like a fun, kind of like a full beard kind of, kind okay, of thing. Gotcha. If okay, your okay. ass was around your people, they would have stoned your ass. No, to but, death. <laughs> but the way the way that he had my the way that he had my hair because at first he's like they're like you can look like Hitler and I'm like what and then I legitimately saw it and I go wow <laughs> holy shit like, cut this shit I you, guess you if put there's gel a, in it yeah I guess no, I guess no. if there's a picture of this. I just grabbed the hair and I pulled just it, combed it, to the side. combed it to the side. And, and then I was, I was finna put a part right there. It was gonna look and like Seth had a toupee like on. Oh, yeah. so, you, so you did this he on purpose. kind of like Donald yeah. Trump. Yeah, he did it on purpose, yeah. He looked it like Trump for a little while. It did. It was, it was all fun. Until he started looking like Hitler. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. I got through. T- he took me through all stages of dictators yesterday. So all right. I'm sorry to the Donald Trump fans. I'm just That's kidding. Okay, funny. I'm just kidding. All right, everybody. I love. Hey man, great show. Bro. I love all politicians. Everybody good? Anybody needs any last words about anything? Any shout outs? Any any praise? Anybody got to promote? What anything? did Bubba say about the farm? <laughs> He's looking into it. <laughs> okay, thanks. Two. Oh, JD man. didn't plug his business, so you could call plug- the barbershop also because he's a handyman, and there's a lot of people that need help with hurricane damage. Hell trees yeah. being put back up, trees being cut. I mean, fences being put up, trees being cut down, taken to the curb. Call Whatever. the barbershop. They'll Call get them the in contact. They'll get you guys in contact with JD. That's well, right. JD, you can put your information online now and tell them. No, he's not ready for that. He's yet. waiting to get a, he's about to get a business phone. Yeah, I got away from I said, he doesn't oh, want to get okay, his. Okay, yeah. okay. So for right yeah, now. Because you don't want that. Yeah, now, want you want know how those military guys right are. Right now, if you want to start a garden. If you want to get some handyman work, <laughs> any of that, you're going to call Ladder Sons Family Hair Care at 895-1347. That is 727-895-1347. You'll ask for Craig, Rio. You'll talk to us. We'll get you in contact with the handyman. You can really call Mr. those guys Green about anything. Thumb, <laughs> or Mr. Hmm? Green Thumb. I like and we'll go from there. Yes, sir. And now that I've done that, I want to do one more thing, and I want to give out my, my, uh, I want to do my DJ stripper voice when I always dreamed of working at strip club and saying, <laughs> oh, no. "All right, fellas, we got coming to the stage. We got all <laughs> the girls of tonight. We got Amy. <laughs> we got Mercedes. Don't forget oh, Danielle." God. 
Hill. And that's right, everybody. Don't forget, we got two for one. That's right. Two for one lap dances right now. And with that lap dance, you will get a Oz Cozy. That's even if you can take it home, fellas. But let's bring them to the stage. Oh, girls, 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 girls. <laughs> Okay, now that I've done that, I feel complete. I was dreaming about legal weed, and you were dreaming about that, man. We were both getting to live out our dreams. Yep. <laughs> what a world. God I feel so complete. just to be clear on this, yes, y'all shouldn't be voting yes on legalizing marijuana. Because if... I don't like a felon telling me what to if, do. Damn. I'm trying to be clear, buddy. Damn. 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 <laughs> because y'all the motherfuckers got if to vote on this shit. to yeah, grow your own and control... What you intake, we should be voting no. If you don't feel that way, I'm not telling you what to do. But I think everybody should do a little bit more research before so we, we shouldn't should. legalize it right now. I need to know what the status of my marijuana card gonna be. <laughs> That's <laughs> all I'm trying to figure out. Right because. now, you're gonna be good because you're medical. Yeah, you're, we're medical. Every all of us are. That's medical. We're fine. We're but fine. if it goes recreational. People that aren't medical will pay taxes. We won't. Yes, because we pay the state and all that. We shit, already so. pay the state. Oh, okay. We're our our doctors. So uh, I'm, I'm. So good. that's a plus. You're good regardless, Rio. <laughs> Thank you. That's but all you want to know. Well, you can't even vote to help a brother out. I was about to say, if you want to vote to help me out, you can't even do that. I can't do that. <laughs> it's all about self. I did not hit with I mean, he could. He just wanted to know, so in case he had to tell me. Oh yeah, you could tell other people. That's right. We do work at the barbershop. Yeah. I mean. Oh, don't forget that part, Lattice Sons. We do cut hair, and we do not let everybody look like Hitler. We do not. And we don't even like the Hitler guy anymore. Yeah, we, just to let everybody like know, we don't really care Thank much you. for that kind of that Now, we of will shit. make you look like Vanilla Ice. That's fine. He's a, he, ice, Ice, baby. baby. He's a good guy. All right, so just, <laughs> just to close, I, I feel like everybody got their last their closing uh, statements out. Um, Rio, you still don't want to talk about the Buccaneers game and who you were with last night? We already talked about it. Okay. I got nothing, and I still got nothing. Thanks, guys. Seth is diabolical. <laughs> you know Stephen A got a huge contract for doing what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All, all yeah. I can do is uh you know congratulate yeah. him. <laughs> True. Hey, did you uh get a chance to uh revamp my little C D I gave you? Oh no, but I still I got it I got it right here. I totally yeah. forgot about it. We have a CD. Yeah, you gotta clean it up so that I can hear it. That's your mixtape? And I'm working on getting all the rest of the music that we that's did when, too. That's when uh Rio was a rapper. Well, I wouldn't have called it all that. Right.